when God finished talking, you will hear him go to walk. God was not sleeping. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 5, please show me there. Verse 5, the Bible said the evening and the morning were the first day. Now verse 8, the Bible said the evening and the morning were the second day. You will now say in verse 13, the evening and the morning were the third day. You will see verse 19, the evening and the morning were the fourth day. You will see verse 23, the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Verse 31, the evening and the morning were the sixth day. You will never read in the Bible that the morning and the evening. You will read the evening and the morning. Productivity starts at night. Implementation is in the daytime. While men were sleeping, transactions were going on. A little sleep, a little slumber. So shall poverty attack you like an armed man. So God was productive at night. God was walking. He will remove his, his kaftan and wear his jeans. His timberland boots, fold it up and begin to set all the, all the firmaments. Every single thing in place. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 8. The Bible says that a day before the Lord is as a thousand years. A day before the Lord is as a thousand years. So when you hear a day, it's actually a thousand years. And if he did it for six days, take it from me, like six thousand years day and night, God was walking. So when you come and tell me that you want to go and live after three months, I know there's something wrong with your medulla oblongata. Genesis chapter 2 verse 2. The Bible says, and God rested after he has finished. You are not permitted to rest until you have finished. Because in life there is a cycle. Between the ages of 0 to 6 are foundation, are, are innocent years. A child of 5 years or 6 years ago run naked for road up and down. Nobody said that. You don't care. Once you get to 7 to 12 years old, it's a foundation year. You begin to learn how to speak your language, begin to communicate, begin to speak English, begin to do anything, communicate. When you get to 13 to 19, you begin to aspire. Every single one of you that are 13 to 19, this is the most important year of your life, period of your life. You want to be a doctor, you want to be a technician, you want to be a cameraman, you want to be a singer. Don't let anybody kill your dream. Because when they kill your dream and then they force you to study law, what happens is that when you graduate as a lawyer, you will drop that law and come and carry that mic and sing your song. Every single one of you has a voice and you need to bring out that voice to the world. When you get to 20, it's a very important year. Because if you are 20 years old, it is your decision year. If you are 20 years old and you are still in your father's house, it's a shame. I no fear anything. Sit down. Because if you want to join the police or the military in this country, you only need to be 17 years old. If you are 18 years old, you don't need your father to write anything. You are considered a full adult. At the age of 18, they go carry you go Kaduna, they go beat the nonsense out of you. Carry you go Sambisa, give you AK for hand. Tell you anything that comes against you, comes against the country, comes against the state, you are authorized to buy the chain. At the age of 18, if Nigerian government can trust you with a gun and life administration, administration at the age of 18, why can't you be rich at the age of 18? I came here to provoke you to be rich. I am tired of seeing young men poor. I'm tired. Because a lot of us do not have mentors. I said for the rest of my life, I will teach you how to succeed. I will teach you how to succeed. Because at the age of 20 to 30, you are authorized to make mistakes. Try, fail, try, fail, but try. You must try, you must try. Whether they agree or don't, get, try. Our country has difficult situation, but try. I went to Nike while I was working in a fashion house from Lagos. Three months ago, they did. My jeans were trousers by day, pillow by night. I go fall down, put down for pillow. On the fourth month, I go go back to school. When I get back to school, I don't miss tests. So I came out of Unica with a third class, extra year. NYS even forgets to post me. 
I was considered a failure by my family until. They did not give me a chance, but I tried and I came out. Because when you get to 30 years old, people are going to look at you, they call you uncle, auntie. Because you are 30 years old. At the age of 30, you should be an expert at what you do. The only way to predict your future is for you to create it. There are young people here that are successful. I have a friend in Umuahia, 19 year old boy. His father abused him that he was using phone to do Twitter. The boy took his phone. He went to his friend's shop that was doing Gucci, selling belts. He took the picture of a Gucci belt and posted it on OLX. He told them that it's 8,000 naira. The cost is actually uh, 4,000. Somebody said, I'll buy it. He got there. He collected money from his father, got the belt, got the money, returned the 4,000, he made money. He began to sell on OLX. I asked him, how much do you make now? He said, on a bad day, I make 200,000 naira a day. In 30 days, that's 6 million, 22-year-old boy. You are not too young to be rich. Can somebody show me anywhere when the Bible says that and God was an employee of a Kennedy Lichuku transport? He was an employer. Genesis 1.1, in the beginning, God created. When he created you, he created you to become a co-creator. Yes, you may be working for somebody. You are there to learn, study, to show. There is a part of your life you must show. Show yourself approved after you have been tested and tried. A man rightly dividing. What are you made of? When God put man, the next thing he said, have dominion. It was not an advice, it was a command. God is not advising you to be rich. He commanded you, your poverty is an insult to God. I expect you to get angry to find out how do you become independent man. Between the ages of 13 to 19, you should be training yourself to win, to dominate the market, to win, to dominate the market. So that by 20, you can take a decision. Tradition has held our boys and our women down. Stay in your house till they are 30, till they are 35 years old. Then when a man stays till 30 years old, what do you want the man to do? Because when cement has gotten dry, it becomes set. It becomes set. Stay with me, stay with me. It becomes set. It becomes set. The problem with Africa, Nigeria, River State is free food. Because anybody that gives you free food stops you from thinking. And when they stop you from thinking, they stop you from productivity. God had given them manna that they lost their manners before God. It had to take God to kill that whole generation except Joshua and Caleb. Joshua chapter 1 verse 1 says, Now after the death of Moses, tradition has got to die. You need to kill it. Joshua, lead my people. Joshua chapter 2 verse 1. The Bible says, And Joshua sent out two boys to go and spy the land. God will not give you a new instruction until you do the last one. Be rough now. So when he sent them, the boys did not go to full gospel businessmen meeting. The Bible said they went to the house of Rahab, the prostitute, and they lodged there. Pastor, I went to an Ogorofo house. Labo Shahida. It was written in the Bible. Is there something we may need to learn there? Are there any lessons there? Why a prostitute? Rahab was a prostitute. And that was where the, the, the sons of God went there. And they lodged there. There are some qualities a prostitute has you may need to understand. Number one, a prostitute is attractive. She takes her time to dress. Her hair is fumi, Brazilian, Peruvian, Ghana, Cameroonian, I don't know. Her dress, her made by Bububua. 
Her shoes are Prada. Her perfume are by Pancaldi and B. She dresses up for her target. Her nails, her hips, her lips, and her fingertips. She puts herself so that she attracts her target. Everything she does is to ensure that she gets her target. Question one, why do Christians dress poor? 